Hi guys, it's Brad at Tactical Archer UK. Uh, today we're just going to do a quick video um, showing you how to safely and effectively cock your recurve crossbow. Um, this is a question we've had quite a lot over the last few weeks, uh, especially with new users. Um, the model that I'm going to example today is uh, the Anglo Arms Panther. Uh, this shoots at about 245 FPS and is probably one of our most popular crossbows. Um, so I'm going to show you how to cock this uh, with a lot less effort than it would if you didn't know how to cock it properly. Um, and we're going to be using an Excalibur cock and rope for this, but you can use any that is the correct length for this crossbow. So let's get right into it. Okay, so now we're going to cock the crossbow. Um, what you're going to need for this is the cock and rope. So with most traditional recurve crossbows, you're going to have some sort of groove in the stock, which allows you to put the cock and rope in like that. And before we start, you just want to make sure that the safety is in fire mode. So when we cock the crossbow, it engages the safety and you can't pull the trigger until you lower the bolt in. So what you want to do is get your cocking rope, make sure your foot's in the stirrup here, nice and firm. Get your cocking rope, you want to hold the two hooks, put it in the groove like this, put the hooks into the string and then just firmly pull upwards like that. Take the hooks off and your crossbow is ready to fire. So once you load the bolt in that will disengage the anti-dry fire system and then if you switch that to fire then you will be able to fire the crossbow. So now that it's cocked you'll notice that the safety is engaged and you can't actually fire the crossbow. I do not recommend pulling the trigger when you don't have a bolt in but I'm just going to do this for demonstration purposes. You can't fire this bolt because once you've cocked it, it activates the safety and you can only take that safety off when you load, load a bolt. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So take the bolt out of your quiver and you need the red vein uh, down in the rail. Uh, this is the guide arrow. Making sure your fingers stay well clear of the string. Push it all the way back and you should hear a nice click once it's in there. And that is the anti-dry fire system uh, activating because if you shoot a crossbow with no arrow in, um, there, isn't enough, there isn't enough friction sometimes and the string can snap quite easily. So always make sure that you have a bolt in there and make sure to never point it at anybody. So now you are able to put it on fire mode and we're ready to fire. Okay, so that was just a quick tutorial on how to string your recurve crossbow safely and effectively. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. Um, please subscribe to our channel and we also have a giveaway going on at the moment that ends on September the 16th. We're giving away a recurve bow package worth over £100. So you get a traditional wooden recurve bow, you get a target, you get a quiver, arm guard and some arrows. Um, all you need to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, share our Facebook page or follow us on Instagram. Thanks.